You were livid. I I was I was angry at myself. I know. <laughs> and I was I was upset and because I felt as though like and again, I I take full blame for this. Like it was it was my fault. Mm. You right. didn't know the different streets, though. No. God, yeah. no. How, how could I have? Yeah. Do I look okay? Yeah. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> do I? Yes, you do. Are we on? There. Yes, we are. Yes. See, look. You look great. I'm camouflaged. You are camouflaged. How oh, about I that? I see skin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> skin, eyes, and glasses. That's it. So, hi. Uh, I'm JD, the Media Jack, and joining me yet again, and we hope to, plan- we hope to do this uh, at least once a month now, is... Alicia Simpson, the Iron Bikini. Oh, yes, yeah. that's your camera. This one's mine. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we plan on doing this once a month now because it's just fun. You actually mentioned it like, I think it was okay. last night. Yep. That this is just something that you've kind of found a new passion about. Yeah. I'm shy, but you know, I enjoy talking my face off with the right people. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so, so um, just FYI, if you're in the chat, you're watching either on YouTube right now or on Twitch. Uh, the chat is open, and if you have any questions, comments, or anything of the sort, feel free as we can read them and we can address them as the show goes along. We have some stuff to talk about. Uh, plans for the future as well as uh, we recently came back from a trip um, uh, we're getting into the holiday season which will be uh, we're in Canada so Thanksgiving is coming up as well as uh, of, of course Halloween Christmas and and family events and stuff like that we'll talk about uh, maintaining a diet and training right re- regiment during that time and the difficulties that can come with it um but uh we'll start off with uh you you did something today you said you destroyed your plants i destroyed my plants okay what please i I have a lot of plants okay some of them are severely overgrown okay so i decided i've been putting it off for so long because it's a such an undertaking but i decided to repot one of my spider plants that had like grown from one into like two different plants in the same pot. Oh, cool. Which is neat. And nature yeah. is amazing, but holy crap. It was root bound. Really? Just all swirled in the pot. And I had to like tear the roots apart. And then I had to separate them. So I have two new plants now from one plant. And it was just very messy, which is my worst nightmare. <laughs> Because I'm a neat freak. Yes. <laughs> Very OCD. I hadn't even considered that. Because that's dirt and roots. Yeah. And, yeah, okay. Mom just gave me the, suge- the suggestion to do that in the bathtub. So I'm kicking myself now. <laughs> like I should have did that. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Yeah. I had a bit of a messy project, and it's actually right behind you. Yeah. Um, so uh, for anyone who watched the prior episode, uh, when we're here live... Um, you usually see my living room behind Alicia and now I this was actually an idea that you brought up and I kind of jumped on it and, and made it what it is you said get a room separator showed you screen uh, yeah exactly mm-hmm. but but I was like oh, it, it was it was both of us or something like that we were like what about doors or something like that so I got these bifold doors and they were not this color before and I didn't realize it's not simple to go into a store to get black paint. That's an entire process. Mm-hmm. But um, the paint had just dried on these doors like half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was smart though. I put down some bed sheets and uh, just to not ruin the carpet. 
And, and actually, you can look at the bed sheets later and see that I didn't spill very much paint at all. Mm-hmm. But I think this worked out quite well. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Um, so anyway, your plant, you now have two plants, spider plants. Yeah. Yes. It's, I think it's a bit of an achievement to have plants that are doing so well they're overgrowing. Sort of. I don't know. I'm no pro. I'm trying. Yeah. They have some brown leaves and stuff. But well, yeah. yeah. The, the three that you got me, I mean, they're, 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 some of them at the very tips have brown leaves on them. But oh, some of mine are to the point I got to cut entire leaves off. And then I feel bad because I'm hurting the plant. <laughs> but you need to take care of it. I know. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> so, um, so that was your project. Mm-hmm. This was my project for today. I told you before we went live, I had a bit of an embarrassing story. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> we uh, so you and I went to dinner with your family last night, yeah. and uh, your your stepfather Gary, incredible cook, especially when it comes to that grill. What do you make? Burgers. Burgers. Yes. Yeah. Delicious burgers. Mm-hmm. Um. I had forgotten about this. I had forgotten that raw white onions gives me horrible gas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get that with red onions. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, added there was onions in the burgers and not, not enough to really affect much, but there was also like your mom had cut up fresh vegetables to put into the burgers mm-hmm. and uh, there was uh, white onion, tomato, lettuce, like all the usual stuff. And at the end of dinner, it was like only like a, a smattering of vegetables left on the plate. And so me being me, I'm like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm just yeah. eating it all. Right. Yeah. Including the leftover white onions. Right. Right. So move forward to today. I'm at the radio station and I texted you and I said, God, I, have, I have horrible gas. Just horrible gas. Right. Right. And uh, you commented that, you know, that's weird. You, you don't, you're not suffering from the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, like I said, I had forgotten that I had, like, white onions just give me bad gas. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I'm working at the radio station. It's the weekend. I'm the only one at the station. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm like a minute away from going live on the radio, and I can feel gas just building up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I relieve some gas. I, as as anyone would, um, <laughs> when they're alone. I when yeah. they're alone, I let out a <laughs> fart, right? So I I let out a fart. I look at the clock. I'm about to go uh, on now. It's like 30 seconds, and I look over. So the clock's over here. I look over my left shoulder, and who do I see? My boss has brought in a guest to, to take a tour of the radio stations. Oh no, Sadie t- brought, oh. <laughs> and both of them have this giant smile on their face. <laughs> and I realize they heard that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what they say, what you say. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 looked, I looked at them and went, one minute, and I did my cut. I, I like I went live. I did because I already had that break all set up and ready to go. So I did uh-huh. my break and then I turned off the microphone and I looked at him and went, Hey <laughs> And she comes walking in with this guest of hers and she goes, Yeah, I just told him I don't think he knows I'm I don't think he knows we're here and that's when I, it really dawned on me that I had no idea how long they were sitting there for and also they they heard me just like <laughs> Tear ass. <laughs> but they didn't say anything about it? No. Oh, and you didn't? What am I going to say? I, I was I was actually, it was on the tip of my tongue to apologize. But I think Sadie sensed maybe the awkwardness because she she just rambled. She just... Oh. Blah, 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 blah. oh okay, to try and yeah, exactly. cover up the, any embarrassment. Yeah, yeah. okay. So... Oh. <laughs> so, so anyway, I... Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, nice to meet you. Didn't shake his hand. Didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, it oh. wasn't like I, I reached over and lifted. I know, yeah, but anyway. I get it. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that happened. Oh, no. Do you think you'll bring it up with her at all or just going to, like, sweep past it? No, she's, yeah. Sadie's a class act. And it's just, 
<laughs> it's not gonna come up at all. Okay. If, if anything, she'll like pull me off to the side and be like, "So just so you know," <laughs> like, mm. and I already know my answer will be, "Yeah, I figured." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Because who comes into the radio station on a tour on a Sunday? So mm-hmm. anyway, so that was my day. Damn. Yeah. You're going to be looking over your shoulder every time now before you want to fart. I'm going to close the damn studio door is what we're going to do. Anyway. So, yeah, that was my day. Um, I just, I went um, after the station. I quick grocery shop, grabbed a few things. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, came home and, and proceeded to paint those. Um I think they turned out really well. And I'm really proud of that. Now, there's there's a few touch ups, and I was looking at them afterward before you got here, and I'm thinking to myself like, "Ooh, Alicia's gonna notice that. Alicia's gonna notice that. I should touch that up." So there's still little spots of wet paint on there. Oh, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm worried about the cleanliness of everywhere else. Yeah, well, I was. That's v- yeah. I was very sure. Like, if you look right here, yeah. on my desk, there's a little spot right here on my desk. It's just a tiny little spot of paint. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. Right. So I did my absolute best. And like, I rent this apartment. I like. I don't want to lose my damage deposit. So. Yeah. It's the purple. Uh, berries from last night, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So. <laughs> um, there was something else I wanted to briefly bring up, and now it's completely escaped me. Mm. Damn it, I can't remember what the hell it was. Um. I don't know. It'll come to me eventually. We told our stories. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, That right there, your shaker. Can you turn it towards the camera? Oh, yeah. yeah. So... Lift it up just a tiny bit there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Magnum, <laughs> um, what's your code? Alicia488. Yes. And kudos to you. You've been using the code. Mm-hmm. And we we find out, like, well, you find out and you tell me, but mm-hmm. we find out when you use the code and also, like, how much you've been saving by using the code on Magnum Supplements. Mm-hmm. And so that was a bit of a shock. Yeah. That yeah. was really neat. I'm glad people are using it and like I appreciate the support. That was really rewarding to see that. Yeah. It's 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 support twofold because mm-hmm. not only are people saving money by just simply entering your code Alicia488, mm-hmm. but also like by doing that, it's it's helping you. Mm-hmm. Right? So yep. again, like it comes full circle. Yeah. So and again, a big thank you to everyone at Magnum to for like I'm flipping cameras too quickly um, for being a part of our lives. Like we, we appreciate it so much. Yeah. So, but that was, yeah, that was kind of cool. What was it? Like you, it was like a couple of weeks ago where you first noticed that you got like a notification about people actually using your code. Uh, no, I just went into my account and I was looking at it more thoroughly and see like, Oh, so-and-so purchased this and so-and-so purchased that, mm-hmm. and, you know? Yeah. It, it's not it, don't don't get us wrong it's not like in grandiose detail it's just no, no. it shows us uh essentially what someone had purchased because of the savings that they got from using your code yeah so again that's so cool to see mm-hmm. yeah yep so again alicia 488 the code uh when you buy anything online at magnum supplements use it and I mean, what do you got to lose, mm-hmm. right? Fifteen so. percent discount, I believe. Exactly. So, so um, we just came back from a trip. Yes, we did. Yes, we went to uh, Vancouver Island. We were in Courtney on Vancouver Island, and it was how long? Were we, uh, five days. Yeah. Yeah. Six, if you include Tuesday. Yeah. Driving back. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, what was the trip about and um, how much fun did we have? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was for Allison's wedding reception uh, and it was also an us trip yes. because we try to do one every year where we just get away. So yeah, we explored 
all around there and saw a bunch of waterfalls. <coughs> Excuse um, me. Yeah, stayed in a couple different places that were really nice. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, so we we left our hometown, Prince George. We drove in one day. It was a one day trip, and in hindsight, I think it was a mistake. Oh, that was too much. Yeah, <laughs> twelve hours of traveling. Yeah, yeah. So we drove from Prince George to North Van, North Vancouver. Got to Horseshoe Bay, waited 45 minutes for the ferry, got on the ferry, which was an hour and a half, and then drove from Nanaimo to Courtney. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was a 12-hour day. Hey, Mark. Happy to have you here. Hi, Mark. Um, that was a 12-hour day. And yeah. in hindsight, we should have stayed on the mainland or at least in the Nimo that night. Yeah. Because you're right, 12 hours was a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we did it. We got to the Airbnb and it was it was it was what I think an Airbnb should be. And I I, I mentioned this to you like these people know how to do this right. Yeah. It just wasn't the cleanest. <sighs> To a neat freak like me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and that's fair. And I mean, that is fair. You you are a professional cleaner and also yeah. you are a neat freak. So but again, like the way these people did this Airbnb, like oh, I yeah. mentioned I said, like, this is the way to do it. It was fully set up, yeah. It was absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful, quiet, uh, cozy. Mm -hmm. There were bunnies. <laughs> there, were, <laughs> there were bunnies, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. And um, it was it was good, but yeah, in hindsight, we should have we should have not done the twelve hours. Yeah, if anything, I think doing that we kind of lost time because we slept in very late the next day, so yes. we didn't have as much time to travel around. So yeah, I think it kind of took away from the trip. Yes, a little bit. And on top of that, and this is why I thought this was a mistake, is because we had made the trip from Prince George to Vancouver, Vancouver to Nanaimo, Nanaimo to Courtney. Would we do the next morning? We went back to Nanaimo. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I, yeah. th I thought of that while sleeping, on, like while dealing with like six hours sleep <laughs> uh -huh. and tired off my rocker. Yeah. I thought like we messed up. Like, oh, you didn't even tell me that. I'm well. I didn't think of that. We could have stayed in Nanaimo. <laughs> we could have. Absolutely, we could have. Because we the first uh, waterfall that we saw was pretty much in the heart of Nanaimo. Yeah. 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 Hi. Hi. Where are we? I really have to pee. <laughs> Where are we? I don't care because I have to pee. Okay. Dam park. Okay, cool. We're gonna go pee now. The waterfall. Yeah, in the we're gonna pee in the waterfall. No. Yes. <laughs> and what was it called? Um, it was Granny Falls at Colliery Dam. And what? What a weird, unique place. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. But like worth the trip. You got some great photos off of that. Mm -hmm. Um. And if you want to see those photos, you posted already some on your website and your Facebook page. Uh, I don't think I've gotten to my website yet, but my Facebook page, Life Stands Still Photography by Alicia Simpson. Yes. Yeah. The link will be in the description down below. Um, but yeah, <laughs> the last time I'm going to bring it up, we should have stayed in Nanaimo at the very least. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> we did that and then we hit another waterfall the next day or was it the same day we hit two or three oh winer winer because we went to port alberni after nanaimo yes yes um oh but before we did that we went to coombs yeah we saw goats on a roof <laughs> well we saw one <laughs> the other ones were hiding <laughs> <laughs> uh, credit to coombs 
in, in, in British Columbia, it's hard to miss because it is absolutely, and, and I don't mean this in a derogatory way, a tourist trap. But Coombs made something of itself without going commercialized. They have so many niche stores and and a bakery and coffee houses and shops and bunnies, more bunnies. Yeah. And it was worth the stop. It really was. Mm -hmm. Like we went there to go see that incredible store with the goats literally on the roof. Yeah. In their own little green space. Yeah. On the roof. On the roof. Hobbit style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we continued on to Port Alberni. Mm -hmm. And Port Alberni was a twofold um, because uh, my family on my father's side is actually from Port Alberni. And I had never actually visited the cemetery where a lot of my family is buried, including one of my namesake. And so we went by that cemetery. And we found my grandmother's burial site, my grandfather's burial site, one of my uncle's burial site, but we did not find my namesake's burial site. And I actually went on my computer and I saw that there was at one point in time a gravestone. Mm -hmm. We just didn't see it. It's probably overgrown. Probably overgrown. Yeah. But we did that and then we went to Weiner. Weiner Falls. Yeah. Which was... A hike it was treacherous <laughs> we uh the the most difficult part was actually getting to the falls what we thought was going to be like an actual hike was just like a a mild uphill walk for like mm -hmm. half a mile mm -hmm. and now i see it was just preparing us <laughs> for an incredible descent just into a gorge <laughs> just straight down <laughs> like that's all it was was straight down there were ropes but the, i was still terrified <laughs> oh yeah no yeah yeah it was it was what like 60 70 feet and it mm -hmm. it was the incline was like that it was just ridiculous mm -hmm. but we got down to it and it was it was the best one. It was that one. Yeah, again, the incline, like that, just ridiculous. It felt like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. A bit, yeah. <laughs> On the side of a mountain. Yeah. You got some good photos off of that one. Yep. Yep. My favorites, yeah. Then we got back to the Airbnb. That was Friday. Yep. Saturday was the reception. Yep. Yes. But before the reception, we saw another waterfall trent falls trent falls mm -hmm. and that was where off the highway like literally off the highway mm -hmm. <laughs> and in comox valley yeah yeah and what, what was the uh, it was the, the instructions came from uh some bloggers oh, see the elephant dot org yes yeah they had really good um directions photos and everything mm -hmm. and and just just a little side note when see the elephant.org went to these falls they took like detailed photos of like park here walk here go oh. here go down here but the very first photo of <laughs> park here would you see your car my <laughs> my car <laughs> <laughs> They were driving a 2019 Kia Soul. <laughs> Same color and yeah. everything. <laughs> like they are us, but like a few years ahead of time. <laughs> it was so trippy. <laughs> it was, was so just, funny. <laughs> it was just so trippy. But Trent Falls. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. It was a swimming hole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people are like literally swimming as we uh, walked up to it. Again, this place had guide ropes and mm -hmm. not as necessary. No, as, not as bad as. Wait, this is no, Weiner. this was Weiner. I was thinking, why did I say Trent? Oh, you did say Trent. This is Trent. We're on Trent now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah. 
So did that and then got back to the Airbnb to get ready for uh, Allison's wedding wedding reception. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that was a lot of fun. That was fun. Yeah. We even danced. (laughs) Awkwardly. (laughs) <laughs> this is true <laughs> it was awkwardly but we did it for a really long time yeah so oh. we need to be proud of that yeah no um we we can get into d- d- dancing well we can do it now um did you go clubbing much when you were younger uh in my more so in my mid to late ish 20s well Okay, I want to say like 23 to 27 or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I didn't. Yeah. Because cause I was the DJ, right? Mm-hmm. And, and on top of that, like I was always busy and I just never got the invite to go and do these things. And when it was like... A, a quiet Saturday night or a Friday night or something like that. Like the idea of going out to the club just never came to mind to me. And so because of that, I have this anxiety about dancing, which I'm, let's be honest here. I'm 45 years old. I really shouldn't care what other people think when I'm dancing. Mm-hmm. And my rhythm could be better. But I enjoy dancing with you. Mm-hmm. And it is like it is still difficult for you to get me out on a dance floor. Yeah. yeah. Which is funny because I have anxiety like around everything else, but with dancing it's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> let's get up there. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's no? weird. Like mm-hmm. I I part of me likes to show off. I, there's I there's a there's a big part of you that likes to show up. Yeah, yeah, but like I still have anxiety about so much. Mm. But I just think it's cool how we kind of balance each other out in that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Like you have to drag me out onto the dance floor, but at any point in time, one of these are involved, I'm there. Yeah, yeah. Like this is where I am yeah. home. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Anyway, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. And Allison's wedding reception was an absolute blast. And her family is just so delightful. Oh, they're so cool. Yeah. yeah. And I love meeting all of them. Yeah. And we briefly got to meet someone else, too. One of her... Gabby. Gabby, yes. Yeah. Un- unfortunately, Gabby had to step away afterward. But, you know, at some point in time, hopefully, we'll get a chance to actually have a conversation with her because gabby's really cool Mm -hmm. yeah she's really sweet yeah yeah and uh wedding gifts were brought what what was it that you got allison oh uh like an adventure scrapbook right all set up you where it had places you can put photos and little blurbs and even came with like stickers and stuff i thought it was really neat i want one and then a glow in the dark blanket baby blanket for yeah yeah (laughs) which i also want one but <laughs> the blanket both things the adventure book yeah okay because it's a baby blanket so i know okay well, I, like, <laughs> I like fuzzy blankets oh that's okay <laughs> fine that's fine and fine I like glow in the dark stuff yeah, yeah. It's just now it's not the time to drop the bombshell of like wanting to start a family so oh no <laughs> <laughs> no not at all what i meant <laughs> i meant Fair. for me yeah okay fine yeah. <laughs> um Anyway, reception, a lot of fun. It was also a potluck reception. Mm-hmm. And you you did what you are really good at doing. Uh, baking. We, baking. We haven't had a chance to really touch on this a whole hell of a lot, but your baking skills are incredible. Getting better and better. <laughs> you haven't failed once. Come on. Oh, I fail. I fail. I just eat it all. <laughs> Other people don't see it. <laughs> It's it's meant to be like that. <laughs> I mean that works. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, that was Saturday. Um, we had we had like a shot of vodka that night. That was oh, it. We had more than that. I don't remember drinking at all. 
Oh, because we had more than that, probably. <laughs> but it was a it was a dry wedding. Oh, it was a bring your own booze wedding. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, I don't remember drinking at all. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We don't need to talk she about had that. mix. <laughs> I had, yeah, we had mix. That's why you didn't notice, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Sunday, yeah. we actually got to spend time with Allison and her family. Yeah. And what did we do there? Uh, we met them at Nymph Falls, which was really cool. Mm. Staircase waterfall. Yeah. It's beautiful. And like, it's 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 the first time I've ever seen. Well, it's a it's a it's a provincial park, but the rocks were were manufactured. Those those were formed rocks, like oh. yeah, like the, the rocks that you and I were on, where you were taking photos. Those were manufactured. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, it's the wildest bloody thing. It, like it took me a moment, but it was like this this is not a normal rock. But it, it was, I don't want to say concrete or cement or something like that, but it was definitely formed that way. It wasn't formed by the water? No. No, no, mm. no, no. No. Interesting. Yeah. And Not the staircase, though. Not, no. No, 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 no. Like, the actual waterfalls were Natural. legitimate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we did that with Allison's family, which was a blast. Mm-hmm. And then we... They gave us a bunch of recommendations and we just went and did it all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's true. They're like, you got to go here. You got to go do this. You have to do this and go do this. So we're like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, 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 All check, in. check. <laughs> we, uh, where did we travel to? Campbell River, which we did not expect to do at yeah. all. Yeah. And while in Campbell River... Oh, we saw the hydro dam. Yeah. Yeah, before Elk Falls. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And holy smokes. Like, that was a walk. But also, like, wow. That was something else. <laughs> They're doing a lot of work there. Yeah, exactly. Now, what we saw because like they they had built this catwalk out there in a suspension bridge i'm thinking the right place right Mm -hmm. yeah and we went did we even go to the other we didn't go to the other side of the suspension bridge no we stayed on the one side yeah but we walked on the, the suspension bridge yeah but we stayed on the one side and we went to where we could see the falls and they were a good distance down but also they were like impressive yeah. Yeah. It was really cool. But also, while we were there, we saw people like within spitting distance of where the falls were. Yeah. Like they look like they could have easily fallen over the edge. I was wait I was waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. So there was another path that can like go around and behind and then there was like a, an area where people could clearly go and it had been marked off, but like people just hopped the barricade and went around. Mm-hmm. And we did that. And then we had fish and chips. In a floating restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And on the ocean. Yeah. And like incredible, incredible place. Like I think everything is like caught right there. Mm. And for fish and chips, like, better than anything here in town. It was damn good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It really was. Mm-hmm. Did you spit on some people? No. No, Dan, we didn't spit on any people. <laughs> Although we could have. <laughs> um, yeah, that was really cool and well worth the trip. Mm-hmm. But that was Sunday. And then... We got back to the Airbnb and we, the plan was to catch the ferry Monday morning, make it back to the mainland and then make it to the Airbnb, or no, the bread and, bre- yeah, bread and, bread and, bread and breakfast, bed and breakfast. I like bread. 
<laughs> I had problems with this before. Yeah. <laughs> the bed and breakfast that we had already reserved in 70 Mile House. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so we got up Monday morning and rifled everything into the car and drove, not necessarily like a bat out of hell, but rather quickly back to Nanaimo and GPS <laughs> did us dirty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I take full responsibility for this. For for one, we shouldn't have been cutting it so close. And mm-hmm. two, I entered in to the GPS Departure Bay, which is where the ferry terminal is in Nanaimo to get back to the, the lower mainland, Vancouver. But when I typed in Departure Bay, I just typed in just that, Departure Bay. I did not know that there was a Departure Bay Street that is five minutes out of the way from Departure Bay Terminal. Terminal, right, yeah. That is what, ugh. You were livid. I I was, I was angry at myself. I know. (laughs) And I was, I was upset and, because I felt as though like, and again, I, I take full blame for this. Like it was, it was my fault. Mm. You right? didn't know the different streets, though. No, God yeah. no. How how could I have? Yeah. But <laughs> this is this is how badly, and I use the term loosely. This is how badly the situation turned. We were two minutes late for the ferry, which meant that we had to wait four hours <laughs> for our opportunity to get on to a ferry. Yeah, the standby lane or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And I, by the time I got on the ferry, I was exhausted. Mm -hmm. But I think I was just like stress exhausted. Mm -hmm. So. I had a great time. (laughs) And why is that? We found chocolate covered Oreos and we got steps in. We just wandered around. Yeah. We looked for seals. Yeah, we didn't see any. Didn't see any, but still, it was an adventure. It was like a, (laughs) I don't know. There's something about airport layovers where it's like, huh, what can we see here? You know, it was like that. It was an adventure. Yeah, I I I get what you mean, and it's like it's an opportunity to take a breath. Yeah, and really take in what's available there, and not leave and not head home yet, and prolong the stay. (laughs) You, that that's something that I've actually noticed with you is like you. Going on vacation is great, but you're in never any hurry to get home. No, it's always sad. Really? Yeah. Like, I want to get home. I like, you know, my bed, my routine and whatever, but also I like adventure. That's fair. Mm-hmm. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just something I've noticed. Yeah. yeah. Where, where it's me, is like, I can't wait to get home and go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's some, like, psychological thing there I should address maybe i don't know maybe i'm just you know travel bug i mean i want to travel more i i could honestly say that that's the case yeah (laughs) honestly that's just who you are yeah yeah so regardless it made us a couple hours behind on our schedule and we got to the bed and breakfast very late very late what was it called uh the wind and the pillows yeah the best name. <laughs> the best name. And we didn't really get a, a chance to grasp the beauty of this place until oh, the following yeah. morning. But the the bedroom, the, the where we were staying, where we were sleeping, we were already spoiled. Oh, yeah. Can we both do it? At the same time? Sure. I'm old school. Look at that room. We're just here one night. I want to stay like forever now. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. Can we peek out the door? Yes, by all means. I'm going to look at the other stuff. Just a beautiful log mansion, yeah. basically. Yeah. Like brand new, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Within five years. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. Beautiful 
king size bed, like full amenities. We had access to a kitchen, and which a, we didn't expect. No, God no. They're like, here's your room, and oh, you keep going through the bathroom. There's this whole other space, and you have access to the kitchen and everything in it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> we were worried we wouldn't have a fridge, but we had a whole. <laughs> we had a fridge. We had a freezer. Stove, we had a stove. <laughs> <laughs> we we really had everything. Yeah. But uh, I, I was, jeez, I was exhausted. Yeah. No, we didn't really get to explore around there. That place, I think, deserves at least like three days. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, and honestly, this was the first time that I was in a bed and breakfast. First time ever. I think me too, yeah. yeah. Well, we woke up the next morning. It was the most adorable thing. I don't know if you noticed it. Probably not, because you're a heavy sleeper and you have... Earbuds. Yeah. Earbuds in. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was woken up to the Golden Retriever. They had, Bailey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they, there's three dogs that were there. The Golden Retriever, Bailey, sniffing and whimpering at the door, <laughs> which was just like, it brought me back to my childhood because like I grew up with like big dogs and German Shepherds and the... The, the acknowledgement of a dog going like, there's people here. I want to be petted. <laughs> like, yeah. It was the sweetest thing. <laughs> so, uh, Bailey and... Diesel. Diesel. Coda. Coda. That's right. We're the three dogs. All three of them were adorable. Mm-hmm. And... Can I step away and grab something? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, so... Like I said, first time bed and breakfast and sat down, had breakfast, chatted with the owners, found out the place was for sale, also found out that the place was on uh, it like in the middle of a public park, but it had been grandfathered because before it was a public park or like years ago when it was a public park, there was like a cattle rancher who asked for a punk portion of the property and the city granted it because it was like ah whatever but like oh. yeah but like nowadays it's like the city the city council and in the municipality is like how do you have this property in the middle of a provincial park hmm. but beautiful mansion mm-hmm. stunning mansion mm-hmm. and the plants you want to talk about the like plants growing over size oh they were huge just decades old plants yeah all over the place yeah beautiful it really it really gave the place personality too so um what's the place called again sorry wind in the pillows wind in the pillows uh highly recommend we'll be back yeah we'll be back <laughs> you know yes uh, so uh, there was three dogs there the night that we were there. There's usually only two dogs there. Uh, the family lives on the property, of course. And there's also uh, like A-frame cabins that you can stay in. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, uh, we, <laughs> we went to uh, give them a raving review and you found two reviews <laughs> that were just, why? Uh, what had happened? Uh, they were commenting for friends or family that had stayed there. Mm. So right there, it's like, well, that they're not, they don't know everything. Yeah, like, yeah. But they were saying they they were complaining about um, that there was like a bedtime curfew and just all the, the dogs all over. Like, yeah, yeah, what? yeah. There yeah. was one of them was like, you know, it, it, we were there was a strict curfew. We had to be in bed at a certain point in time. And another one was like, Oh, the dogs bit one of the people that were staying oh. there. And, and, and both of them, rightfully so the, the managers and the owners of the property were like, we don't know you. You never stayed here. Mm-hmm. What do you know about anything? Right. How can you comment? Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Also like it's a, it's a bread, a bed and breakfast. Oh, I was about to say it. Bread. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a bread and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bed and breakfast. You gotta expect a little bit of like family life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But oh my god, dude, like we will absolutely stay there again. Yeah. We didn't have a chance to go and walk around. No, uh, it as... was a cloudy day, raining and stuff too. So. Exactly. Yeah. We woke up the next morning, had a wonderful breakfast, and yeah, it was just downpour. 
Yeah. So. Because it was on a beautiful lake, Green Lake, I think. It oh, was, so. so beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. Think of how it would look during the day, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or a clear day, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. No. Even a cloudy day, like, it would have been beautiful to look at. Mm. So, we, uh, it was, that was Tuesday morning, had breakfast, and then got on the road, came home. Sugar Shack. Oh, yeah. (laughs) The Sugar Shack. Um, That was pretty good. That was very good. Yeah. I've never had a beaver tail before. Mm-hmm. So the Sugar Shack, for those who are unaware, is a, a restaurant that is just just outside Seventy Mile House mm-hmm. in British Columbia, and it is owned and operated by uh, a wonderful family and from Quebec. From yeah, yeah from <laughs> Quebec, and just anything typical Amer- Canadiana that involves maple syrup and bannock. Mm. it's there poutine mm-hmm. poutine as well honestly like the poutine that we had in Montreal w- was like comparable to what we had at the Sugar Shack oh yeah yeah okay. yeah yeah so that was worth it and the beaver tails everybody has to have a beaver tail <laughs> yes exactly so good <laughs> not made with real beavers no it's no. a pastry yeah with maple sugar syrup on it or something. So yeah, it was good. Yeah. Um. Then, then it was just the drive home, and I have to say, and this is a shout out to uh, a local uh, podcaster, fellow podcaster, mm. content creator, and uh, friends of ours, uh, Ben Gibson and Nicole Gibson from Wicked and Grim. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my true crime. <laughs> fad right now or not fad but uh Mom. i'm just loving yeah. true crime right now <laughs> <laughs> that we were listening to wicked and grim like on the way down on the trip on the way back from the trip i must have listened to like 10 oh yeah no yeah eight we, or 10 episodes or something we were belting through those ep- episodes <laughs> absolutely yeah. and uh they they do an incredible job. Mm-hmm. Like they they bring a human element to some of the most horrific tales and stories that have gone on. Not just like recently, but like decades old. And uh, yeah, like just wicked and grim. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Ben and, and Nicole, and they have a Patreon, just like us. We have a Patreon. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we were listening to the podcast on the on the way throughout the trip. Got back home. Did I miss anything else before we get back home? I don't think so. Yeah. Got back home, uh, unloaded the car, uh, had to head back out, and I told you about this afterward. The car made the most horrific clink clank <laughs> noise. Mm. Um as I pulled out of the parking lot, and then when I parked it again, it made another thunk. And I immediately got underneath the car to try to figure out what the hell that was. Hasn't made a noise since. Weird. It must have been rocks shifting or something. Something. I don't know. Because I know you've had that issue before with rocks getting underneath in the undercarriage or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or getting into the suspension or yeah, or something like that. Yeah. But whole oh, <laughs> after after all that driving to hear that horrific sound, I'm like, no, I just got home. No. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. So but that was the trip. And that, good. That was that was good. Um I, I really do want to go on another trip or adventure sometime in the near future. And yep. you had actually mentioned this and unfortunately we hadn't had a chance yep. to actually uh, meet up with him but uh, another friend of ours Matt uh, we haven't really seen a whole hell of a lot of them this no. year his schedule has changed our schedule has been really really busy mm-hmm. um, for for those who are looking for context um, the incredible photo shoots that uh, you have been a part of and posted photos of on social media mm-hmm. majority of them are done by Matt mm-hmm. and he's got an incredible eye yeah and yep. there's, there's a one specific photo shoot we need to get done soon. With my car? Your car. Yeah. Yeah. I need to commemorate my car. 
Before it dies. Before it dies. <laughs> You've done so much to take care of that. You've done so much. I'm throwing wrenches. <laughs> like You've had that car years before you met me. Yeah, true. You know, and it's made it this far and it's still in incredible condition. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. Like, Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, a photo shoot with Matt and you um, sometime in the near future. Probably not till like next summer now. I don't know. Spring. Maybe. I don't know. It, it really depends on, you know, what ideas come to mind, the weather um, and his schedule, mm -hmm. right? Because we're on his time. Mm -hmm. A fall shoot would be okay. A fall shoot would be awesome. Yeah. Honestly. So mm -hmm. speaking of fall, uh, we have uh, big holidays coming up. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, Halloween. Uh, I mean, Remembrance Day is not necessarily a holiday, but it is a, a day of remembrance. Mm -hmm. uh, and Christmas. And um, I'm still training. You are coaching yourself, essentially. Mm -hmm. So the question I wanted to bring up is, how does one maintain, uh, I guess, a routine and not go too far off of their diet during holidays. Mm -hmm. We'll start off with Thanksgiving as an example. So how would you approach that? Um, just eat normal. Eat normal. Keep, like stick to your plan. Okay. You know, oftentimes people like on the day of a big meal will save up their calories throughout the day. Like that's the worst thing you can do. Because you'll just end Guilty. up... Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> you'll just end up gorging yourself, right? And then yeah. you just won't have a good time. And you'll be, like, lethargic. And mm. ugh, you won't want to do anything. And you won't mm. want to socialize. Yeah. Eat normal up until the day of. And then replace Thanksgiving dinner with, like, two of your usual meals in that day. Not all of your meals. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Because... I keep flipping cameras too quickly. I'm sorry <laughs> about that. Um, because, like, for me, Thanksgiving, I mean, yeah, it's an opportunity just like anything else. Like, you know, mashed potatoes and stuffing and, and turkey, gravy, and all that stuff. Like, I look forward to it. But I've gotten to a point where it's like, I know how uncomfortable I feel if I eat too much. Mm -hmm. You know? So... I, I'm no longer to at a point where it's like, oh, seconds, yeah, absolutely, yeah, I'll make room later. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to be laying in bed later going like, I, it's just take me out back. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't want that anymore. Yeah, that's that's a good thing to keep in mind. Think of how you want to feel after. Like, yeah. You want to still be lively and, and socialize mm -hmm. and have fun. Yeah. Also, have get in a good training session too if you can. Oh, like, like the day before or the day of, like that'd be good. If if there's ever a day to hit the gym hard, it is like yeah, a day before, two days before, or even the day right after too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and I bring this up because um, another acquaintance of ours, James, he's actually he announced that uh, he had recently lost ten pounds. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, way to go, James! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah he um uh, he's been going to the gym with mark which oh, is nice. great okay and also he he says that he hasn't had a, a pop or a soda in like over a week okay which is a great place to start right because from my, from my own experience the moment i took out took sugar out of my diet it it i started shedding weight well, you also, some people, I don't know, a majority of people shouldn't go cold turkey. Like, then you're just going to get back on it when you lose this, however much weight you want to lose. And mm. so even even switching to, like, diet Coke and stuff, yeah, that's, that's a good start. And then just start having, like, you know, one a day instead of, instead of three. And, mm. and then one every other day and just back it off a little bit. Like, I don't know. I don't like the cold turkey. Yeah. thing it worries me because i've done that too and then i just end up i remember doing no junk challenges and then just going ham after it was over and it was i just end up in a worse place yeah i 
I, I agree. Like I'm the, I was the exception because okay. I was determined. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Um, but at the same time, like ta- tapering off yeah. is, is healthier than going cold Turkey every single time in every single scenario. Absolutely. But James, uh, stated that he, he, he hasn't had a, a pop or, or soda or Coke in over a week now. And it's, he feels great because the urge just is no longer there, but okay. he's but he's he was criticizing himself because he still eats at McDonald's or he mm. still eats at a restaurant. And mm. I I tried to tell him like, protein's protein, carbs are carbs, vegetables are vegetables. Like, fuel is fuel. Right, but you you also have to stack up the little wins. Don't yeah. be your, if you're if you're making an effort and making the small changes, don't beat yourself up for still doing the other things. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like you, you got to stack up and celebrate the small wins. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, and yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And I, it, from my own, again, from my own experience, because that's the only thing I have, mm-hmm. is uh, you might eventually get to a point where your body tells you what it wants and i learned this again i learned this the hard way where it was during the time where i was doing my 100 days Mm -hmm. if you don't know what my 100 days are i'll explain it later (laughs) it's a part of my tattoo but anyway i was in the middle of my 100 days and i realized i was i wanted to go to the gym i was running out of time i hadn't eaten anything i have to eat something so I figured leftover Chinese food. That'll do it. Nope. <laughs> Holy. I got halfway through my workout and I, I felt like a bag of crap. Right. Because you weren't used to eating it? I guess. Yeah. Or something, right? And so after that, it was just like, like I need to smarten up. Mm. You know? Yeah. So I... I, I I know that my body is to a point where like it'll let me know like you're missing something or this was a mistake or mm. stop eating white onions. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So again, like you're right. Like James, like celebrate, celebrate your victories. You know, don't be hard on yourself for other things when you're still getting wins. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And, and don't think that you can never have these things again like don't think that you can never have mcdonald's ever again or never drink pop ever again like just like taper off yeah but still include your favorite things Mm -hmm. i mean that's what makes life enjoyable is having your favorite treats still there's there's pop in the fridge like oh yeah there's there's vodka in the freezer like (laughs) (laughs) there's cookies behind my desk exactly um oreos right now (laughs) yeah we even talked about like our next treat meal oh uh yeah pizza 73 pizza Pizza. exactly yeah right and and keeping in mind too like i'm i'm training harder than i ever have and I'm loving it. And you are still a training athlete. Like, and you've mm-hmm. been at this for years, right? Yeah. So if if we can have literally cookies right here and pop and vodka and and a treat meal on the way, we're going to have pizza next next weekend? Two weekends. Yeah, two weekends. Two weekends yeah. from now. Like, yeah, we could still have these things. It's, it's yeah. proportion, moderation, and just being smart about things. 80-20. 80-20. I like, that's my rule that I've learned works for me over the years. Like 80, 80 to 90% whole foods no. the rest of the time, like every day. And then the rest of the time, the rest 10 to 20% treats. So like every night I'll have, during the day I'll eat things like turkey, rice, vegetables, uh, oatmeal, uh, egg whites, protein shakes, um, all that stuff. And then every night i'll have like a couple pieces a couple pieces of chocolate uh right now i'm loving belgian chocolate (laughs) and then like a cookie maybe right um because like i do a lot of baking right so somebody's got to eat it (laughs) (laughs) so like i have i have all my healthy 
food throughout the day, I'm well fueled, but then I include the treats as well. And because I'm eating healthy, the majority of my food, the majority of my meals, the treats won't matter. I don't notice them. I don't feel affected by them or whatever. And, mm. and my, I continue to grow and build and, and maintain a good shape and feel healthy and feel good. Yeah, without 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 the guilt, without yeah. feeling as though that, you know, you're beating yourself up because you had Belgian chocolate or yeah. Yeah, yeah so. like like none of this mindset of oh back on the diet on Monday. Like, no, I'm gonna eat this food and this is just how I eat and I'll I will eat like this again tomorrow. I will have more chocolate tomorrow and mm. yeah. But it, at at the same time, like it again, it's it's proportion, moderation, like yeah, chocolate here and uh, enough to treat yourself, satisfy a craving, uh, not polish off an entire chocolate bar and then think about a second one. Like that's, yeah, yeah, that's too far. The yeah. more with what I found, the more I deprive myself of things, the more I just want it. So it's like, why not include a little bit every day? And then I don't feel deprived. I have that to look forward to. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you wanted to bring up? I don't think so. No? I feel like I've ranted a little bit. So <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> so uh, with that, we'll actually leave this. And um, thank you to everyone who is in chat, uh, Mark and Dan and everyone else. I can see the numbers yeah. going up and down. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. And as always, uh, first of all, you can take advantage of some discounts off of Magnum Supplements. Dot com. Dot com. I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But the code to use, and it does work, is... Alicia488. Yes, exactly. And the mediajack.ca, the website that you can absolutely go to, where not only can you find... Uh, more episodes, more podcasts, and where to watch or listen to those podcasts, but also our store where you have mer where we have merch uh, for the Media Jack as well as merch for the Iron Bikini. There's hoodies and tank tops and shirts, and there's more stuff coming in the near future. Oh. So, what, 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 where are you going? <laughs> See, I'm already wearing the shirt, you know. There you go. There it is. There yeah. And it, it's That's still. Me. <laughs> that is literally her. Yeah. It's still so soft, too. Yeah. So, the mediajack.ca is where you can go for that. And yeah, that'll do it for this episode. So, <laughs> there we go. I Look. do it at the end of every episode. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. Mandatory flex. Mandatory flex. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Alicia, thank you so much. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm JD the Media Jack signing off. Uh, thanks again for watching another episode, being a part of this. And if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to this channel here. It's either uh, the Media Jack or it's on your channel, the Iron Bikini. And just subscribing doesn't cost you anything, but it means uh, a whole heck of a lot to us. So again, thank you in advance. Thank you. Anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Take care, everyone. <laughs>